Okay, I'm here tonight with Monica Saint, um, who, uh, who's living out in California in Venice Beach right now. Um, you used to live in Philly, didn't you, Monica? Yes, I did. Uh, I went there for art school, and I stayed here for a couple of years. Yeah, you went to my alma mater, I think, the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, that's great that you were able to do that. Um, tell us a bit about your background in art other than that. You hail from China, right? Yes, um, I'm from China, and I'm from the south part of China. And uh, I'm from a very, very small city. My family, they never support me to be an artist. Uh -huh. But when I was a kid, I've always had a dream to become a professional artist. When did you start seriously considering that as an adult? Well, I guess uh, I started after I moved to the United States. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you moved over here? I was 22. Uh, you came on your own? Yes. Yeah, well, I know I know you have some experience modeling out there, is that right? Yes, I've always tried to get to know more artists, especially artists who have been working for a long period of time because, you know, there might be a chance that I can get to know more people from them, you know, get into their circles and make friends. Yeah, and, and how has that worked out? I, I have known a few people who really wanted to help me, people who were interested in collecting my art. I'm all alone and I have no money to support myself. I do not have uh, enough money. So I was looking for some supporters, like you can call, some people call it sugar daddy, pay for my bills. And in return that I'm in trouble with them. The good thing is I got a lot of money that I need to invest in my art. Yeah, these these lip paintings that you've started doing certainly interesting. Um, Later on, I just start painting this lip painting because uh, I personally do not like uh, do not like the way they see. Uh, it's kind of ironic, you know. You see this on the vegetables, and some people do see it, women like us as you know a piece of vegetable, nothing. Yeah, nothing. just a generic. <laughs> sort of something. Yeah, it's, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, how men look at women sometimes. But I'm not saying all the men are all like that. It's just that for my personal experience, especially when I was sub subjected looking for um, sugar daddies. Yeah. So uh, I have to play the roles that they want. So if they want me to you know, dress up sexy, I have to. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, you know, at the same time, the paintings are very sensual. You know, you, you seem to enjoy being pretty. You know, you seem to enjoy being who you are. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, all women love to be pretty. Uh -huh. And um, I guess everyone wants to have a stable life, and everyone wants to have enough money to support themselves, to do whatever they want. I'm really hoping these take off for you. They're so uh, different than what you've showed me of your, your student work. You know, there's a darkness to your earlier stuff. You know, did you go through some kind of change that, uh, that brought you to a more serene kind of place? Yes, uh, I would say that, uh, especially during my time uh, in art school, uh -huh. uh, I I was kind of like a bit depressed because I feel really lonely and hopeless. Uh, even though people are always talking about everyone is born, born equally. I, I personally do not believe that some people born in wealthy families and they have already have everything they needed to invest in their art or careers. Yeah, but I mean, I, it's a nice ideal, but it doesn't play out that way for most of us. Well, do you have a particular someone who's, who's helping you out right now? There's a woman uh, I met in Florida. She, she's very interested in my art. It's very helpful. Do I hope these really take off? And uh, do you see yourself doing this type of thing for a while? I do enjoy what I'm doing right now. I just want to thank you for uh, uh, talking with me. Is there anything else you'd like to mention? Oh no! Thank you very much for your time. If you have any more questions, you can always call me anytime. Okay. Well, thank you, and and I'm looking forward to seeing what you do next.